briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1991, the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit heard the case Phoenix Mutual Life Insurance v. Greystone III Joint Venture in re Greystone III Joint Venture, which focused on the absolute priority rule in bankruptcy. This rule states that senior creditors must be paid first, and junior creditors cannot receive payment until senior creditors are paid in full. Greystone III joint venture filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after defaulting on a non-recourse promissory note of $8.8 .8 million with Phoenix Mutual Life Insurance, secured by a first lien on an office building. Greystone proposed a cram-down plan to reduce Phoenix's secured debt to $5.8 million and pay both Phoenix and trade creditors less than four cents on the dollar for unsecured claims. Although Phoenix appealed the decision, the bankruptcy court approved Greystone's plan, and the district court upheld it. However, the appeals court reversed the decision, finding the plan improperly classified like creditors, failed to consider tenant security deposit holders as an impaired class, and violated the absolute priority rule. Ultimately, the court ruled that Greystone's plan violated bankruptcy law by improperly classifying creditors and breaching the absolute priority rule. Furthermore, the court determined that alternative plans, including Phoenix's equity contribution, were not adequately considered, and the new value exception was inapplicable. As a result, the district court's decision was reversed for further proceedings consistent with the court's opinion. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.